Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a lot of different New Year's resolutions that you could implement into your life for the new year. Even if you're not watching this right before a new year, these are things that you can include in your life or start doing anytime. It doesn't need to be like right before the new year, but I think thinking of it as like a new year, it's like a new fresh start. You can try to do these things to just make your life more positive. And I just think that these are all helpful tips no matter what. So I'm gonna be sharing sharing with you some of the ideas that I thought of. I put these all in my notes and I'm gonna be trying to implement them in my life as well. So I'm first gonna start off with just some ideas and then I'm gonna go into more specific ones that I'm going to try to implement into my life as like personal resolutions because they may not apply to everyone but you can definitely get ideas from them. Let's just go ahead and get started. The first one is stop procrastinating simple tasks that have a big impact on you. This could just be things like cleaning your room, making your bed, putting your clothes away. Basically being organized and just trying to keep your life organized at home. Just like having a clean room, a clean space to work in just helps me a lot with keeping my mind clear. If that makes any sense, I just love having a clean room and having everything tidied. Next thing is something really basic, but it's just giving more compliments. And I've noticed myself needing to do this more recently because if I'm at the store or something and I really like someone's outfit, I'll tell my friends or tell myself in my head, oh my gosh, I love that girl's outfit. And then I just won't say anything, but I know if I were to say it, then I would make the person's day. And it would also make me feel really good as well. But instead I get scared and I don't give that compliment, but don't you love getting compliments? Me too. And I think that could be a really great way to spread positivity. Then this one, okay, hear me out here. This I always try to say, and then I just never follow through with, but I feel like it could be something really good because let's just, we'll get into that once I tell you. Okay, read a few pages of a book as many nights as possible. Some night I might not be at home, so I might not be able to read. So I'm not gonna say do it every day of the year because I know I'm just not gonna complete that. But I just wanna read some actual like educational book or something that could benefit me in my life and stuff. I want to learn more about things such as like budgeting and using your money wisely and how to, you know, just like how to books and educational books. I want to learn more, make myself more educated in that area. So I feel like reading a book that could benefit my life could be a really good idea. I have the book called 101 Essays That Will Change the Way You Think, and I think that's a very good book to read, and I definitely recommend it. That's one of the books that I got, I think, last Christmas, and I'm still not done with it. I'm gonna finish that book before this new year is over, especially if I'm reading a few pages of it each night. The next one is start looking at the positives and things and not so much the negative. I know, especially like this past 2020 year, it was so easy to look at the negatives in life, but that doesn't benefit you at all like but looking at the negatives and just complaining about things it does not help you yes it can feel good just to get it out and like complain I know we all do it like it's so easy to complain but that just puts negativity in the air and quite honestly we don't really need much more of that and so I think just trying to look at the positives and things can really help your mindset a lot. I'm someone that tries to look at the positives and things as much as possible and it really helps. So if you come encounter with a problem in this next year, just try to think of oh, how can I benefit from the situation or how could this actually help me, although it may be bad in the moment. Okay, this one, everyone always says this in their New Year's resolutions, but I'm gonna kind of tone it down a little bit and not be like, oh, work out an hour every day because like that's not, that's just not, actually gonna happen you know what I mean I put just get some exercise in every day it can be really easy to just lay in bed and watch TikToks I'm guilty of it it's super easy to just forget about actually getting some exercise in my watch will always be like all right time to stand I usually just ignore it because I see it all the time but for example like going on a walk in the summer or the spring when it's nice out I think that could be really good just going through your neighborhood or if you don't live in a neighborhood just getting around um doing something outside could be fun or even just a small little workout in your room if it's late and you're like oh I haven't actually really done anything with my day just do a few little jump squats just get your heart rate up in some way you could run up and down stairs I don't know or if you're someone that goes to the gym I mean go you I definitely wish I could relate I'm still scared of going to the gym but you know what that could be something that I improve on this year. This next resolution is something I need to work on a lot and it is watch my money spending more because it is so easy, especially when you have your license, just to go and spend my money on random stuff that 
doesn't even benefit me. So I could question myself, do I really need to stop and get food or is there food at home? Because we literally have food at home yet I still go and think I need to spend money on food all the time and then the next day I forget I even spent money on that and then I go in my bank account and I'm like, oh, I really spent a lot of money on food this month and I didn't need to. Also like, is this an impulse buy or something that I have really wanted or like I need? So clothes, that's something I, I like don't mind spending my money on because I love getting new clothes, love putting together outfits. It's this new thing that I'm into. And also stuff like getting my nails done, love getting my nails done. Do I need to? No. I think after this set, I'm gonna be done getting my nails done for a little bit. I'm gonna try to do them at home more. But that's like, what, 50 something dollars each time you get your nails done? That just adds up and it's it's fun, but it's so unnecessary in, in a way, even though I love doing it and it makes me feel put together. Uh, I don't know. So this next thing is be more grateful for what you have. It's so easy to just take things for granted that you have. Even just like going to my grandparents' house or something. It's like, I really enjoy going to the library and getting my work done and having that special place to go get work done. Whereas if I'm at my grandparents' house, I don't have that. So it's just, some people may have a whole different lifestyle and you just need to be grateful for what you have and just not take things for granted because it's so easy to do that. Okay, enjoy every moment you get with your friends and family. That is also often taken for granted. And I know this past year, there's been a lot of lives lost, especially from this pandemic. And it is really sad and I know of a friend of, a fr of friends that had passed away and it is just is so sad. I've lost a friend in my life as well and you just have no idea when things could happen. It could happen like that. Love who you're around. Don't fight about silly stuff because in hindsight like it's so dumb and you just need to really just be grateful for the time that you have because you never know when that could be taken away from you and just live every day to your fullest and just again try to look at the positives in things and try to improve that mindset even though it can definitely be hard sometimes okay next one is work on drinking more water this one's so easy this one this one is said by a lot of people and I'm a I'm a coffee drinker I love coffee so a lot of times I'll just be drinking that throughout the day and realize that I really haven't drinking much water well one day I was at school forgot a water bottle had dance after school didn't have a water bottle because we were dancing at the school and the water fountains are closed and I just felt like I was gonna pass out because I just didn't have water. So just trying to actually get water in my body would be nice for me. So that's why I put that one down. This next one I am very, I'm very guilty of and it's don't be so judgmental. All right, I literally hate that I'm like this because I feel like the reason why I have like, I haven't gone to a doctor for this or anything like that, but I feel like I have decently bad social anxiety at times. And I feel like that's just because I judge people in my mind so easily and I hate that about myself. So I feel like they're just judging me just as hard. I don't like that. I feel like just if I wasn't so judgmental in my mind, it's not that I'm like mean, I'm not mean at all. I'm as nice as I can be to every single person. But the fact that I'm so judgmental, I feel like has a lot to deal with. Um, being scared of going out in public because I, I don't even know. I don't know if this is making any sense at all. So let's just stop being so judgmental and be nicer to each other. All right, this next one is putting more thought into outfits. Okay, there's this girl I follow on Instagram. She lives in my town and she literally just has the cutest outfits and I aspire to be her. Her fashion sense, I love it. Just putting on cute outfits that I enjoy wearing and I don't know, I feel like that could just be fun. Because it's so easy to just put on like leggings and a t-shirt or like shorts and a t-shirt or a sweatshirt and that is definitely fine. But I think putting on a cute outfit, doing your hair and makeup just makes you feel so confident. Like today, I put on an outfit and I feel very confident today. So I recommend. And this next one is putting yourself first and don't let other people's problems get in the way of your happiness because at the end of the day, all you have is yourself. Everything else could just go away in an instant. So just having a good relationship with yourself and being confident in your own body and just putting yourself first is so important, especially if you're wanting to get into a relationship, just knowing that like you're confident in yourself and you don't need anyone else to validate that is super 
duper important. And once you build a good relationship with yourself and not do things for others just all the time and having, you know, again, a good relationship with yourself is gonna help you in the long run so much. So that is something that I think everyone can always just be working on, finding comfort in your own body and, you know, improving yourself every day. Okay, next category is my personal resolutions. And so you guys can definitely get ideas from this because it's not only for myself. <laughs> okay, the first one is growing my YouTube channel more. So for example, I did Vlogmas this past December. That was actually a lot of fun. Yes, it was hard, but it was really good and very beneficial for my vlog channel. I feel very good about that. So a goal of mine would be posting once a week on my main channel and twice a week on my vlog channel. Although I don't know how easy that will be. I know it won't be easy, but that would be like my goal if I could really do that. And the next one is having the best summer yet. It's the summer before my senior year. I want to be very tan. I want to be around the people that make me the happiest and I want to do adventurous things because after this next summer, I'll be going into college. That's a little weird. So I really want to spend my last summer before senior year um, I just want it to be really good and not waste any days just being at home sleeping all day Although that could be good. I love summer So I want to make the most of it the next one is discover my fashion sense And I think I've actually gotten better at that and I've been making outfits that make me feel really happy and Sharing them with you guys. I'm getting better about it But I do want to you know continue to get more clothes and try out, you know, I different styles or something. All right <laughs> Next is revive the Instagram feed. Um, first of all, my makeup account. I only post my stories for some reason. Second of all, my main Instagram account. I literally never post on and why i don't know i don't know but i want to take more pictures and actually like revive the feed because it's just it's bad that's all this last one is very important to me i want to get better about this but i wrote down stop with the social anxiety crap no one cares as much as you think i saw a tiktok about that and it's basically someone called it i think the spotlight effect or something where you just feel like everyone is always looking at you and watching you and watching your every move when in reality that's not true like i don't do that so i think just like getting better at vlogging in public um going and doing things on my own like shopping and stuff i feel like i just need to get better about that and just stop thinking that everyone is looking at me every second and just be more comfortable in public around a lot of people that is one of my big resolutions that i need to get better at and i'm working on every day but yeah that is the video i hope you guys got some ideas from this even again if you're not watching this before the new year that is okay because these are things that you can put into your life at any point in time every day is a new day i hope these helped you in general not even just for the new year but if this is before the new year i hope you guys can implement some of these things into your life if you think you will benefit from them anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys so much i'll see you guys in my next video bye